Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warships. Today we're taking a look at the Turpets, the good old Derpits with the torpedoes. This is a Bismarck that trades that Hydro for torpedoes. We still get those same secondaries and we get the 380 millimeter guns, which can do some good damage. In this game, we're actually gonna get pretty lucky with our RNG, but that's good. We wanna show the positives of the Turpets. It's not every day we can do that. Turpets B, of course, the Black Friday variant, You'll probably be considering this one if you're looking for a higher tier premium battleship, especially if you're interested in brawling. Massachusetts video didn't go too well this week. Typically, I would say Massachusetts B would be a better pick than the Turpets. But that said, Turpets can have some really, really good games. This ship, of course, does have that nice German turtleback where the Massachusetts can take citadels when it goes broadside. But I still would consider the Massachusetts just a little bit tankier, primarily down to its healing. The heal coming back after 40 seconds instead of 80 seconds like we have on the Turpets here is pretty nice. But if you're gonna get into some brawling situations, also, that's a Massachusetts on the other end of that salvo. <laughs> I told you we were gonna get a little lucky in this one. Uh, Turpets certainly did overperform in this one. It's even a secondary build, mind you. The secondaries are max range, so we're not even running aiming systems in this one. Turpets can still do some serious work. Uh, in this one, we are just kind of full sending it into the B cap here. We're a three man div right now, so we may as well try things, right? No, no need to play safe against an enterprise of all things, which is kind of terrifying. But the AA, not really something to write home about on any of these tier eight battleships. So even though that is a weakness of Turpets, it's still, it's not a strength of any of them, let's be honest here. I do like the secondary build, but honestly, you could run a bit of a hybrid build on a Turpets. Back in the day when this ship came out, it didn't even have the range on the secondaries. That was something that was added later, a little while after the German battleship line came out. So initially you didn't even have the secondaries to go with. So pretty much everyone ran it as this main gun build with the potential to torp actually at the closer ranges. That was the idea. If you were gonna brawl, it was for the torpedoes, not actually for the secondaries back in the day. You could still run secondaries, but they just weren't nearly as good as they are now. Broadside Hawk, that's a very, very juicy target to go after, of course. I think Turpets probably is a relatively good choice if you're thinking of picking up a battleship for Black Friday. Honestly, I might even pick it over something like the Palmer. Even though Palmer is a higher tier, you're going to get more rewards out of it just because the tier 9 credit multiplier on some of those premiums. I think Turpet's matchmaker is just a little bit better these days, and Palmer can struggle into those higher tier games, especially against super ships, which we don't have to see as a Turpet's. Although that said, tier 9 ranked is around a lot these days. Again, another. Look at how many Citadels we have already, guys. Ridiculous. Uh, but tier 9 ranked around these days, Pomeran is a good pick for that as well. So if you are looking for these German battleships, both would be a decent option. Having a Hydro on the Pomeran is a really nice feature to have as well, where Turpets just doesn't have that, unfortunately. Uh, it is pretty valuable these days, considering that submarines are in the game. We all know how difficult it is, let's say, to deal with them. Another Citadel. <laughs> <laughs> this is a secondary build, guys. We got Luchids, we got full secondary skills. Somehow, we're hitting all the Citadels. Uh, maybe this is where my RNG went from that Massachusetts game. <laughs> we had to even things out just a little bit here. Got so lucky with the Turpets a uh, little before playing that match, actually. But now that the carrier is on us, this is a little trickier. Uh, I do make a bit of a mistake in this game where I don't just take a nice easy exit. Take my 100k early game, uh, control of the B cap, and uh, just leave to our spawn, live to fight another day. I decide to get a little too greedy here. We're never gonna get a shot on this San Diego. He's playing it very well around this island. Slowly moving around just enough that I can't hit him, but he can hit me. Uh, very well played there. And I'm just getting greedy because things are going so well right now. So Massachusetts potentially coming into brawling range. May as well go for it. There's those superstructure hits that can hurt these German battleships so badly. But we're still feeling okay. But notice that heal cooldown, right? Over a minute left till our next heal. Such a massive impact that makes as uh, the Massachusetts just gets them back so much quicker. It's really, really handy to have. Uh, you might even find that the battle cruiser line for the Germans is even a little bit tankier at times as well. 
thanks to its fast cooldown on its damage control, so you don't have to worry about fires quite as much. Although that said, we haven't really been getting lit on fire too much in this one yet, uh, so that's not a thing here. But it is typically something where you're going to be burning a lot in these battleships. Secondaries in on Massachusetts. IFHE secondaries, of course, do pen 32 millimeters on all of them. So even though we're not going to get a lot of fires out of them, we are still going to get some good alpha damage out of these secondaries. And they can be quite powerful. Their accuracy isn't quite as good as the Battlecruiser line for the Germans or the Massachusetts line. But they're still better than normal accuracy. So you can see the damage output there. We have taken a lot of hits uh, from going from near full health. By the time we actually get our next heal up and available to us, yeah, we're pretty low already. And one of the main reasons, sometimes I'm actually not even taking the extra healing on one of these German battleships. I'll almost always be taking it on an American premium battleship like Massachusetts, Georgia, or Ohio. Those three in particular have that fast cooldown on the heal. It allows you to get through a few more of them before you die. But Turpin's here. Yeah, we're eating that torpedo. We're flooding. We're on fire. Yeah, we're going to die here. But that's going to do it for this match in particular. But I will play a live game for you here now. Uh, so you get a little more realistic look at Turpits, let's say. <laughs> Normally, uh, your games won't necessarily look like this. But I did want to show you that it is possible for Turpits to be a really strong battleship. So before I switch up the build here real quick, this is what I was running, actually. IFHE on those secondaries, fully maxing them out. Notice we didn't get any value out of Emergency Repair Expert. We would have been much better off with Close Quarters Combat or even Concealment Expert there. Sometimes you will get value out of this though if you're able to ride that fine line of being aggressive and playing close to the enemy team, brawling it out, and uh, not getting too close that you die prematurely, uh, like I did in this match. Equipment-wise, looking like this as well. But for this live game, I do want to swap the build out to something maybe a little more reasonable. Uh, we're going to go with Concealment Expert, since that actually gets us down below 13 km Detect, which can be good for surprising people with the guns. Uh, we're still going some secondaries here, don't you worry. But I have swapped out one of the upgrades here. So we only have 10.1 km range on the secondaries, which is still great, mind you. But we are getting Aiming Systems upgrade here. So that's going to be the idea. We're going to be playing a bit of a more mid-range ship uh, with potential to push in. Let's see how it goes uh, in a live game here. I don't expect it to go as well as that first game did. So we did end up getting pretty lucky with our matchmaker here. Tier 8 game. Always very nice to see that. And a Cyclone. Oh my goodness. Lucky us. But there are submarines in this one as well as a carry. Something to worry about here. Ooh, what is this? So, we do have Accuracy Mod now. Let's see what it does. Unfortunately, it looks like it didn't quite lead enough. We do get ASWs, though, that actually function, unlike the Massachusetts ones, where we don't have any range. Let's see, any hits? No, unfortunate. That's okay, though. Is this guy gonna turn out? I'll try there. Not the best dispersion, but that's okay. Oh, shatter. Uh, so this is, keep in mind, including dispersion mod. That is where we're at right now. So definitely gotten pretty fortunate with that. <laughs> uh, first game, running a sec full secondary build and getting all those citadels. This could turn around here. Just worried about pushing into a submarine, you know? That doesn't seem like a very healthy thing to do. Go broadside? No, oh, he's turning in, unfortunate. Our turn in, though, did juke here a little bit. Very nice. Ooh, 12k even. You love to see it. How greedy do we get? Oh, nice, the submarine's there. Secondaries on him. Fortunate that he does go down. Oh, we did get some splashes on him. Now, we should be able to deal some good damage to this hawk here. 
bounces there, unfortunately. But secondary's online. Let me say hello to this San Diego in a second. I'm not going to continue to push because we did lose our submarine. A little worried about that, to be honest with you. Right, let's wait and see as you go broadside. Looks like he will. We'll try and guarantee this. Go. Nice. Good work, Turpits. Take some damage in return. That's okay. Play it chill. It's a good start. Patience. 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 I struggle with that. <laughs> but this Cyclone should be good news for us. Mm, can't quite get that. Okay, Colorado turning out. We do have overmatch there. That's pretty good dispersion, actually. Yep. 5k there. I'll take it. Actually shoot this guy as well. For now. I will turn in a bit. Where is this sub, man? So scary. Oh, they have another one over there. Well, there's no getting out, unfortunately. Maybe the sub will make a mistake. Hopefully. Angled Colorado. It's okay. Don't know where this turret's going, but the other three were okay. Yeah, they're focusing on our Queen Elizabeth at the moment, trying to finish him off. So if he goes down, then myself or the NC will be next, of course. Well, it looks like they don't quite get the uh, Queen Elizabeth. That's nice. Ah, uh, okay. Here comes the carrier. Where do I go, man? It's so scary. Okay. Sector the AA. Oh, there's the torps. So submarine's like right here? Oh my goodness. He's literally right here. Terrifying, man. Absolutely terrifying. And then there's another one coming from over here. Oh, caused flooding. Wait. He's out here somewhere. Right, let's grab a heal. Nice. Didn't take too much there. He's gonna turn away. I also need to turn away though, unfortunately. Because if I push up this way, then the uh, sub is just gonna take me out here for free. Which could happen anyway, to be honest with you. On Cyclone. Oh! Mistakes? Okay. Carrier's here too. Man, they're just all here for us. So this will be potentially your experience. <laughs> I hope it's not, for your sake. But this, this can be the experience. Press some blind shots in on this guy as he goes broadside. Nope, didn't get it. I think he's going this way. 25 seconds until our next heal. Tricky game. Yeah, and the ranger's just here for us constantly. Oh, I got the submarine's number apparently. now 
because he's spotting us. Our heal. Although I suppose it could be a sub down south here. Nope. <laughs> I mean, you're, at a certain point you're good at the game and it still doesn't matter, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll rep that. I'm still just gonna try and run away at this point. But yeah, our team has lost this one quite badly. Rather unfortunate because we, our team lost and we had the subs and the carrier on my flank. That is just painful. So our, our guys over here didn't have to deal with that. The uh, worst parts of World of Warships, and yet they still lost. That's uh, pain. Line shots, since he's far enough away. We'll try it. Yeah, overpants. Nice, we'll avoid those. I have to assume their enemy sub is just gonna pop up here and kill me soon. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, we're making it to our fourth heal. So, not taking those heals. Um, hey, we might have made it to the fifth one. Decent dispersion. The light cruiser, man. All eight, and we still get nothing? Man, it sucks to be a battleship sometimes. <laughs> All eight and nothing, guys. That's crazy. And now that he's angled, we're gonna crush him, right? Yep, 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 yep. Wonderful, lovely, great, perfect, awesome, amazing, fun, enjoyable. Oh, it's just, it's incredible. It's, it's actually just incredible, guys, I, Hate that so much. It's the least fun experience on both sides. Both sides of the of the gameplay experience. As a cruiser player, getting overmatched and just auto-killed by a game gimmick is so tilting. And as a battleship player, you catch a cruiser broadside and you only get overpens, it is so tilting. Like it's, it's like this game is designed to be as frustrating as possible for the most amount of people possible. All you'd have to do is swap that interaction to where I don't get much damage in on an angled cruiser, but I do get the dev strike when he's broadside on like that. And suddenly the battleship player's happy when he gets the broadsides and the cruiser player's not getting as tilted because he knows, oh, if I just angle, I'm not gonna take, I'm gonna take reduced damage. Crazy, man. It's actually insane. Nice, glad that missed. Oh, that's so frustrating though. Ah, unfortunate, we do end up losing this one. Feels bad. But that's how it goes sometimes, can't win them all. But you guys understand, I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining at you guys. Uh, you guys obviously know what I'm talking about. Holy bad team, Batman, what, what? Okay, yeah, I mean, you're not gonna get teams like that very often. Um, but yeah, unfortunately people at Wargaming just don't understand that, it seems. Or they do, but they don't have the power to make that change uh, is, is kind of the way I've come to terms with it. So it's never gonna happen, it's never gonna change. We're gonna get a frustrating experience for everyone, lovely. No one can be happy. Isn't that isn't that the way to get do things? Uh, okay, well, there you go. Turpitz B actually went better than the Massachusetts, funnily enough, and yet I'm still frustrated. Simply because of that cruiser interaction. I'm not I'm not keep in mind, guys, I'm not wanting uh, let me spell this out as clearly as I can, because people often misunderstand what I'm saying. Okay? I am not saying simply make battleships auto dev strike ships that are broadside all the time and change nothing else, okay? I wanna be very clear here. In a proportional amount, increase battleships ability to do damage to broadside ships and reduce their ability to deal damage to angled ships in a proportional amount, okay? If you make them 50% more consistent at dealing damage to broadsides, make them 50% less consistent at dealing damage to angled ships, okay? 
That is what I'm saying. That is what I want. I do not want to still be able to just nuke angled ships just because of haha -ha overmatch mechanics. I don't find that enjoyable at all. But let's be honest, this is an end of a PQ video, so the people who do just want to misunderstand me or whatever are never making it to the end of this video. So all of you that are here, still here, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, but I suppose I should say those talking points at the beginning of the video so that uh, the people that would more than likely click off a little sooner would hear that as well. So maybe another time we'll talk about that. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think about tarpits these days and have a great rest of your day.